guys, what's up? My name is Mae and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are testing out some new makeup. This is going to be a first impressions video. This makeup is no buy near new. There's some that are like new-ish, like within the recent months, but there's like none that's like completely new that just come out and like I have it before everyone else. Like th this is no exclusive here. But I'm just going to be trying out some new stuff that I haven't tried out yet and I'm very, very much excited and hopefully you guys like this video. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so I know I might look crazy right now, but I just primed and I just color corrected as one does before putting out foundation. So we are testing a new foundation. That is our first product here today. I am testing the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Oxinate Sunscreen Board Spectrum SPF 15 up to 24 hour color wear and comfort transfer resistant foundation. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is your girl really this bougie? No. Me and my friend went to Ulta yesterday just to look at the new ColourPop section and I end up leaving with this. So that's what happened. Saleswoman was very, very convincing. It looked wonderful on my skin. So I kind of have tested it out, but I haven't tested out my own application. And I want to see the difference between a sponge and a brush from what she used. So that's what we're doing. We're testing this out. So let's see. For first off, I'm going to dot it all over. Just so we can see, I think I'm going to do half of my face with a brush. So I'm going to be using this flat top kabuki from Morphe on this side of my face. And then I'm going to use a real technique sponge on my other side of my face. That is it blended out half of my face with my little sponge. Now we're going to do the other half of my face. It's looking good so far. It's covering exactly how much I wanted to. I think I want to put more. She said you can really build it up. So let's see how it acts with the brush. I don't know if you guys know this. I feel like I've mentioned it before. I really don't use sponges all that often. I don't know. For some reason, I just was never into the whole sponge game. I was just never into it. And I just always love flat top kabuki brushes. That was always my way to go. And I always thought I was weird until I saw Laura Lee always use her flat top kabuki. And I'm just like, yes, someone understands me. Okay, so after me building it up, it's really looking to be full coverage, which I've been looking for in a foundation, and that's why I really bought this, is because the only other high-end foundation I have is the Tarte Amazonian Clay, and I just, I'm not feeling it, guys. I really need a liquid foundation, and it's just like, come on, I really need one. My skin looks super pretty right now. And I'm really happy with it so I think I'm liking this product so far hopefully when I try it out more in the future and start wearing it a lot more I'll have a really full opinion about it you know you know but so far I really like this foundation next up I'm gonna be trying out the very 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 popular you know classic shape tape concealer I've told you guys I've been wanting to try out this concealer for so such a long time for such a long time so I'm really glad you know I finally caved in I caved in I got it we're gonna see if it's magical like people say I have really dark circles if you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see but I have really dark circles um, and that's just you know due to you know lack of sleep from school so we're just gonna see if we can cover those I've heard it comes out with a lot of product so I think I'm just gonna start off with that so I think I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and then we're just going to blend this out. I don't know if this Real Technique sponge soaks up a lot of product. I'm feeling like it is. I'm going to apply a little bit more of the concealer and then I'm just going to use my Kabuki brush to blend it out. I don't know how I feel about this concealer. I think I like it. It's very full cover. What I'm not seeing is I can still see my black circles and I don't know. Is that me 
Or is that just something that's gonna happen all the time? I'm gonna dip in for the third time and really see if like, it makes a difference. But so far, this is giving me the same exact coverage as my Photo Focus Wet n Wild concealer. So maybe this will be a return, who knows? Maybe we'll save some money here. Cause I didn't know Shape Tape was so expensive. I thought Shape Tape was $20 and then I found out it was 27. And now I'm just revealing to the world how much I just paid for a concealer. Maybe it's just because I have bags in my eyes. Maybe that's just a personal problem, but right now it's giving me the same coverage as my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. So maybe I'm not all about this Shape Tape hype, guys. Okay, well I'm gonna quickly go and set my face with powder. I'm gonna do some bronzer and then I'll be right back for some more products. Okay guys, I just set my face, I did a little bit of hula bronzer, you know, did my little eyebrows, and I primed my eyelids with the Shade Tape Concealer. So far I like it as a primer, but guys, I don't, I don't think I'm liking it as a concealer, oh my god, this is a shocker, like, I'm thoroughly shocked, I thought I would like it, it's just, it's nothing special to me, it's literally giving me the same coverage as my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I am loving this foundation so far. It is so full coverage and I'm not used to it, but it literally does feel like there's nothing on your face, which I like. It literally feels like a drugstore foundation, like weight wise, because some full coverage foundations can feel very heavy on your skin. This one, I don't feel it at all. I love it. It's looking great. I'm looking crazy because I have nothing on my eyes. The next thing we're testing out is actually pretty new. It's the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Eyeshadows. So, like I said, I was at Ulta and I kind of, you know, made my wallet cry once I left there, but it's fine. Um, I picked up some of these shades, not some, I picked up one of these shades because, again, I, I just, I bought a lot of stuff, okay? So I picked up the shade Cashmere Love. It's like, I want to say it's like a silvery bronzy color. It's super, super pretty. Let me just get my swatchy up for you. So it looks like that. Um, I feel like this was the most glittery one out of all the ones that were there. There's also this pretty rose gold color, but I just feel like I like glitter, so I wanted to get the glittery one. It's gonna be a dupe for the Stila Liquid Eye Glows. What are, what are they? What are they trying to be? So we're gonna use these today on our lids. We're gonna create a moment. Before I put that on my lid, I'm gonna hop into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. You know, just get some good transition color starting. Okay, so since I got the, you know, basic transition down, I'm just going to go in again with the sharp tape, the sharp tape, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and we're just going to do like a little half crease, so we're going to see. Hey guys, here's the moment of truth. Is it gonna really perform that well? We're gonna start off by putting it right where I did those little cut creases. I kind of look a little crazy right now. It's fine, it's fine. It will even out in the end, so. This is super pretty on the lids. I'm really enjoying it so far. Oh, 
this is the eye with the second coat on it i think it performs very well this one was drier before this one because i obviously did the eye first but this one it takes layering pretty well it's not flaking off so far which i'm liking let's put a little bit more on this side very very different i don't think these are a complete dupe for the Stila liquid eye glows or, you know, the liquid glitters, but they're very, very similar in the way they're supposed to perform. And I really am digging this. So I'm going to finish this eye look off of camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We have a very dramatic wing going on. I did some purple in the lower lash line because I wanted to do a little something a little bit fun with this look. Um, so far, the eyeshadow is not breaking in any type of way. It does a little bit has flicked off but not to the point where it's not pretty anymore. So that's good. I'm liking it so far. By no means is this a dupe, but I think it's a very nice alternative to the Stila eyeshadow glows. These are only $4.99. Stila's are around $24, $22 around that area. So, you know, go check them out. Wet Wild has some pretty good stuff, and I love Wet Wild. So we're doing great. We're doing great. So the next items that we have to test out is kind of fairly new it's been out in the recent months but i haven't been able to find anything so i'm going to be trying the mega glow hello hello liquid highlighter from colourpop as well as testing out the elf times heart collection highlighter and guys this is a very very pretty highlighter i'm very excited to try this and layer these two together so the wet and wild one i got the shade gilded glow it's just this very goldy color and it comes with a doe foot applicator like this. I think I'm just going to place that. I don't know how this is going to act with my foundation. And hopefully it doesn't lift it. And hopefully it's great. So we're just going to... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's, that's goldy. Okay, so we're going to do some right there. I'm just going to put some right there. And I think for this, I'm going to use my sponge. Just because I don't know what else you would use to blend this out. So... So it's much more, mm, it's more subdued when you blend it out. It's still pretty blinding, but I think, I can't tell because I feel like this is more of a champagne-y color than it looks in the bottle. It looks very different on my skin than it does on the bottle. It looks a lot lighter. I'm not hating it, but it does look pretty different. We're going to just take this highlighter now. I think I'm going to take this shade it's called coffee and cream I'm assuming this is the coffee shade and this is the cream shade because like duh I'm gonna take my highlighting brush and just spray with some Too Faced hangover setting spray because I really love to glow so that's my secret guys to a really good glow just always make sure that you wet your brushes because like that just why wouldn't you wet your brushes so let's see Oh, this is super pretty. Let me just get in there. Oh, that's pretty. So I feel like the heart highlighter is more my shade, but setting it on top of the Wet n Wild is like bringing out this very, ooh, I don't know what to say. It's almost like a rose gold effect that's going on in my cheek. I'm living for it. Just need to blend these two together a little bit more. But like, your girl's glowing. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? Cause I see that, I see that. And I really hope you guys see that. It looks pretty from the side, as you can see. It looks very pretty from the side. But when I'm looking at it dead on, I see a cast. And I think you guys can see it too. So I don't know if that shade is just too dark for me. And I wouldn't assume it's too dark for me. I don't know if it's too dark because of me placing it on top of the Wet n Wild since the Wet n Wild was such an interesting color. So I'm not quite sure, but I'm really liking this highlight. Cause see right here on my nose, it looks really pretty. So it might just be how it was layered on top of the Wet n Wild that's, you know, making it act a little, a little crazy. I'm just gonna swatch these shades for you. So this is the shade Coffee, very pretty peachy bronze highlight shade oh that's super super pretty i really like that and then this is the shade cream and these feel very nice these don't feel like the big highlight oh and that's very very white 
that's more of an inner corner highlight. Like how it is on my nose and all that, it's very, very natural. I do see a cast. I don't know if you guys can see it though. I don't know. But I really do like this highlighter. It's a really good highlighter, so I recommend it. Lastly, we only have two more products to test out and we only have two more things to do. So I here have the e.l.f. Times Wingy Luxe Eyelash Set and these are super, super pretty. Um, I remember e.l.f. always having fake eyelashes and they're just like, really, is that believable? But these ones look just so voluminous and natural and I was dying to try these out so I picked up this and I also picked up the elf times Alyssa Ashley gloss because this is definitely my color I love nudes not those type of nudes but you guys know I love a good nude lip so I'm gonna put this on first and then I'm gonna put the eyelashes on off camera and then we'll be back for my final thoughts my final reviews and my final impressions okay okay I think I found my new favorite gloss guys this gloss is so beautiful it's like a very neutral but very terracotta just gloss it doesn't feel heavy it's not gloopy either like some glosses can get it's very comfortable on my lips obviously it's not gonna be long-lasting it's a gloss but like it looks so good right now I'm like digging my look and it's kind of sad because I have nowhere else to go after this so, you know, so guys, I'm going to be right back with the lashes on and I'll be back, you know, with my final thoughts. Guys, we completely glowed up from the start of this video. I'm just saying, like, who am I? Like, who is that? Like, so the lashes are on, you know, they're dry. I put some Lancome mascara, the Monsieur Big mascara. Really love that mascara, by the way. It's very good mascara. I put some on the lower lash line, on my lower lashes, you know. And guys, I completely butch butchered these eyelashes. This is the Wheelie Times Elf eyelash set. I said Wingy um, because I was looking at, I can't really read, read cursive and I thought that was a G. I was thinking of a completely different influencer. So sorry about that. These are the Wheelie, not Wingy, you know, yeah. But these eyelashes, they're super, super pretty. I think these are really good eyelashes. For Elf, these are only $4. They do come with like a little pair of tweezers. I personally don't use that because I just, it's difficult to put eyelashes on in the first place and that just makes it more difficult for me. I love how this look came out. I love the liquid eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. I love the foundation from Lancome. Like, it's beautiful. The highlight is growing on me. It's very bronzy. It's very summery. I really, really love it. This lipstick, absolutely my favorite. Absolutely my favorite thing in the world. It's so comfortable. I'm not the type of one to wear glosses, but I do love wearing a good gloss, you know, now and then. And this, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Such an amazing color. And it's so universal because I can see this looking good on every single skin tone. The only thing I am not loving is a Tarte Shake Tape Concealer. And that pains me to say, that pains me to say, because I truly thought I was going to love this concealer. I truly thought... It was gonna be, you know, one of my holy grails like everyone else's. But it's just a it's just a concealer in my eyes. It's not doing really anything for my under eye area. I don't know if you guys can see, but I can see in person that I still have pretty bad dark circles. But the foundation, guys, is looking so beautiful. I feel like a different person with this foundation. This lady was completely right at Ulta. She completely suckered me in. And you know what? I'm glad it worked. It was a $47 foundation, so I'm glad it worked. It's just, I'm looking, I'm looking a little snatched. And I'm feeling myself, so excuse me, because I'm feeling myself. And that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe. Also, comment down below any ideas you guys have for future videos. And until next time, bye. <laughs>